Hey everyone, this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com and uh, we've got the Lorantz uh, split shot transducer here. And what we've done to validate and verify our products on the Hook 2, the new Hook 2, that's the second generation of the Hook series from Lorantz, is we purchased a few of their products. Um, a couple of them can be seen here on our mounting systems. This is the um, Lorantz Hook 5TS. That stands for triple shot. And if the camera, camera comes close, the camera can see the big triple shot transducer here. This is the Hook 4 bullet. And it's got the GPS in it as well. It says Hook 4X GPS here. I'll move this out a little bit. So, you can see the size of the transducer on it. This, this is on our magnetic transducer mount right here on this chair, this thick chair. And you can see the difference in the size of the transducer. So what I'm going to show you right now is the split shot transducer from Lorantz. If the camera swings back over that way. And um, I didn't really need to open this right now because I looked at it through the actual clamshell um, clear plastic and I could see that our product already meshes up with it just out from the get-go. So I'm just going to show you guys what the split shot transducer what, uh, looks like and I'm kind of a little bit curious too because sometimes guys will break their transducers and they'll need to, they'll want to replace a transducer and I'm not sure why you wouldn't replace it with the same exact transducer, but maybe you would for economic sake or whatever. Maybe you don't feel like the side imaging is that great on this anyway, so you don't need to buy a, I'm not sure what this transducer is worth here, this big long split, uh, triple shot one here. But let's get a look at this. So this is the difference. The triple shot does three frequencies. It's going to do your, uh, traditional sonar, it's going to do your down imaging sonar, and it's also going to do your side imaging sonar as well. The bullet is typically just one frequency. There's no side Im or down imaging on this, and there's no side imaging. It's just a straight down uh, 2D sonar, traditional 2D sonar. And then you have your split shot transducer, as you can see here. And you can see the difference in size on that. This actually has two capabilities, one being the down imaging and the other one being the traditional 2D sonar as well. So you can see, let's get the camera to look at that one more time. Clearly, we'll, we'll look at how long these guys are too. Uh, I got my calipers here. This guy here I already know is 10 inches long. This long, big, this big guy. This guy here, let's take our calipers and we'll measure these guys up here. And this guy here is about four inches long, three and three, three point seven inches long, three point eight, probably yeah, about three point eight, maybe to this point, so somewhere in there. So getting close to four inches. And this guy here, you can see, is very small, two point five inches roughly. So two and a half inches, four inches, and um, 10 inches. So that's the difference in the size and of the, the transducers. And just so you can see that it does work on our product here. This is on a very thick, by the way, a very thick piece of wood. So it's not on there super strong because of the, the, it's so thick. You wouldn't, your boat wouldn't be this thick. We'll just take this guy off and we'll just show you how our transducer mount will assemble. It is universal, so it, it's clamping. So you just take your wing nut off here and you open up your fork. We like to call this a fork washer because there's a couple forks coming off of it. So you just get, open this guy up. This guy can come on and off just like so. And we'll take the split shot transducer. We just took the bullet transducer off and the split shot and then of course down here is the triple shot we take this guy and we close her up and you guys might be wondering why is this flat piece um right here and you can see it also on the bullet actually it's really good forward thinking of Lorantz 
Um, they've got strap slots actually, so that you can just tie this to the bottom of something if you, if like a, a trolling motor is sort of their idea, I think. Um, however, with our stuff, you wouldn't need to do that. So, but that's why they, they've got those, those flat, that flatness aspect. And this is actually fairly flat too. So how they recommend, I didn't look at the literature on this, but how they recommend to install this, is, is, there's probably something to do with a underhaul, um, glue on thing going on there. I'm not sure, but yeah, there you go. And this tells us put this guy on our magnetic transducer mount here, our famous 15 mm. This is actually the X power version here. Um, I'm not sure if the magnet will hold it at this, uh, it might, might still hold it. Yeah. Even at this weight, even on that thick of wood, it's still going to hold it. It looks like, so that's pretty impressive. So there you go. That's it on our, oh, it's slowly sliding down, but there you have it. Our X power magnetic transducer mount. This is about almost an inch thick of wood. Um, and it's acting like an invisible clamp, but here you have the bullet transducer or the uh, split shot. I said, you can kind of see how powerful that is. There's my hand right holding it. You can see you can go sideways and then lock this guy in. This could be your transom of your boat or what have you. So yeah, everything is all compatible and that is your split shot transducer. Does it work with a triple shot one? I wonder, maybe that's a video for another time. So this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm just showing you the uh, Lorantz Hook 2 um, transducer spread here, their series of transducers for that, for the Hook 2 series here. And um, I, I would imagine just based on what I'm seeing here, they're actually well, well assembled, well made and uh, they're, they're probably end up using some of the stuff on their other series of fish finders. I wouldn't be surprised. So thanks for watching. Call us at 1-855-784-3474 if you're interested in any of these amazing fish finder mounting systems from fishfindermounts.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.